South North Korean summit and expressing the strong hopes for the success of the upcoming U.S. North Korea summit. In this context, Secretary Pompeo and I discussed preparations for the summit meeting between President Trump and Chairman Kim in Singapore on June 12th. We agreed that the summit would be a historic opportunity for resolving the North Korean nuclear issue and securing enduring peace on the Korean Peninsula. We reaffirmed that our goal is to achieve the complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. In this regard, Secretary Pompeo and I agreed that next few weeks will be critical requiring airtight coordination between our two countries. As announced, President Moon will visit Washington, D.C. soon to meet with President Trump. The close communication and trust between Presidents Trump and Moon have been the driving force that has brought us to this point of breakthrough for the denuclearization and peace on the Korean Peninsula. So their meeting on the 22nd will be instrumental in preparing for a successful U.S.-North Korea summit. Secretary Pompeo and I all reaffirmed that the ROK-U.S. alliance, which celebrates its 65th anniversary this year, has long served as the linchpin for peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula and in the region. We also reaffirmed that for the last 65 years, the USFK, the United States Forces in Korea, has played a crucial role for deterrence and peace and stability of the region. And we would like to emphasize again that the U.S. military presence in Korea is a matter for the ROK-U.S. alliance first and foremost. After today's meeting, I am even more confident that our alliance is as robust as ever and that there is no daylight in our cooperation on the denuclearization and peace on the Korean Peninsula. Once again, I would like to thank Secretary Pompeo for today's fruitful discussions and look forward to building a close working partnership relationship with him. And in addition to the upcoming summit meeting in Washington, D.C. on May 22nd, I hope to see him again in Seoul and reciprocate the hospitality very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we have time for two questions total. The first goes to Rich Edson from Fox News Channel. Rich. Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary. Um, you just mentioned and, and have mentioned before, as have the South Koreans, that you are looking for permanent, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization. How does the United States specifically define that? Is it inspections, full facility dismantling? Is it more than that, less than that? Uh, and also, you have had more substantive conversations with Kim Jong-un than arguably any other Westerner. What is your impression of him? Do you think he's rational? And simply, what's it like to talk to him? Uh, and uh, to the foreign minister, um, are South Korea and regional allies discussing providing any sanctions relief to North Korea before the summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un? And what kind of outcome does South Korea need uh, to secure its security, and does that include the maintenance of current U.S. military assets in the region? Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I, I have spent more time with Chairman Kim, other than perhaps President Moon, <laughs> working on this incredibly important challenge that lays before the world. Uh, President Trump uh, and the world have set the conditions for a successful outcome from June 12th and the activities that are necessary to follow therefrom. Uh, you, you asked about my conversations with Chairman Kim. This question is sort of undignified. Is he rational? Yes, we had good conversations, substantive conversations, uh, conversations that uh, involve deep, complex problems, challenges, the strategic decision that Chairman Kim has before him about um, how it is he wishes to proceed and, and if he is prepared uh, in exchange for the assurances that we're, we're ready to provide to him, if he is prepared to fully denuclearize and uh, I, I'm not sure how to define it fully. <laughs> it's pretty pretty clear what that means. It would be it would be an, an activity that undertook to ensure uh, that we didn't end up in the same place that we'd ended up before. Uh, there are multiple passes at trying to uh, solve this conundrum uh, for the world. How to ensure that North Korea doesn't possess the capacity to threaten not only the United States but the world with nuclear weapons. And so, in order to achieve that. Uh, it will require a robust verification program uh, and one that uh, in, in, 
uh, that, that we will undertake with partners around the world, which will achieve that outcome in a way that, frankly, no agreement before it has ever set forth. A, a big undertaking for sure, but one that Chairman Kim and I had the opportunity to have a good, sound discussion on so that I think we have a pretty good understanding between our two countries about uh, what the shared objectives are. I'm sorry? But good conversations. Uh, they've, uh, there, we've seen, there's some videos that have been released. You can see our, our conversations were warm. Uh, we, were, we were each representing our two countries, trying our best to make sure that we were communicating clearly, that we had a shared understanding about what our mutual objectives were. But we had uh, good conversations about the histories of our two nations, the challenges that we've had between us. Uh, we talked about the fact that America has uh, often in history had adversaries who we are now close partners with, and our hope that we could achieve the same with respect to North Korea. Thank you, Rich. Our next question goes to Jan Hap News Agency. Could I just oh, pardon me. answer that question? Yes. I think your question about sanctions relief. I think well, we're very clear that the sanctions remain in place until and unless we see visible, meaningful action taken by North Korea on the denuclearization track. The North Korean leader has committed to denuclearization, uh, and, and um, formally so through the Panmunjom Declaration. We very much hope to see further steps, uh, more concrete uh, steps toward denuclearization being produced at the U.S.-North Korea summit. So we're not talking about sanctions relief at this point. Your question about what are we looking in terms of uh, for our own security, we are confident of our security through the Korea-U.S. joint uh, security stance, um, which is why we say the issue of the alliance, uh, any issue of the alliance, including the troop presence in our country, is a matter for our two allies to discuss and not to be put on the table uh, with North Korea. Okay. And our next question goes to Yan Hap, to Mr. Lee song Wu. Hello, secretaries. So my, I have two questions for uh, each of you. So we only first, have time for one, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but one for her. Yes, one. Okay. So uh, one for uh, our Minister Khan. Uh, can I say in mm -hmm. Korean? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Recently, the, there was a talk that possibly U.S. Africa can be reduced. Was it discussed in your bilateral talks today? And when President Moon visited Washington, D.C., before the uh, uh, Pyongyang and Washington, D.C. talks, what kind of coordination did you make the to for, uh, uh, this uh, upcoming discussion Secretary between Pompeo? Uh, Pyongyang and Washington, uh, D.C.? You went to Pyongyang and met Kim Jong-un and our historic summit between President Trump and Kim is fully set up. And however, the key issue is dismantling North Korea's WMD. And I guess uh, there's a quite a big gap between U.S. and North standpoint. So uh, did you actually discuss the issue with Kim, which, this issue with Kim? And have you two narrowed the uh, differences? And do you think he's willing to give up his WMD? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, 말씀드리겠습니다. 주한미군 감축 논의는 전혀 없었습니다. So, so there was no talk about uh, reducing USFK at all. If there was any talk about USFK, it was only about how solid our uh, alliance is. And any issue, any discussion about USFK or alliance should be discussed as such between our two nations which are in alliance and not in uh, North Korea and US talks, which was confirmed by uh, Secretary Pompeo. And May 22nd is the day when uh, uh, U.S. President, the South Korean President, will meet again. And along the way, President Trump and President Moon had a close uh, relationship and uh, trust with each other, and they played a key role. So in the run-up to the North Korea and the U.S. summit, discussion between the two leaders will play a key role in preparing and setting the tone for their talks. So we are making our best effort to best prepare for this summit. Your, your question was about were details discussed. Uh, we had quite a conversation uh, about it. Uh, I, I'm not going to share that here. We're not going to negotiate the, the details of the agreement uh, in this setting. We'll do it in uh, conversations between our leaders uh, and our working teams that are hard at preparing for the summit. Uh, I, I am confident that we have a shared understanding of the outcome that the leaders want. Uh, certainly Presidents uh, Trump and Chair President Trump and Chairman Kim, but I think President Moon as well. I think we have a shared vision for what we hope 
uh, when this process is completed, the Korean Peninsula looks like. I think we have a good understanding, and I think there is complete agreement about what the ultimate objectives are. Uh, we began to work through the modalities, how we would achieve that, um, but I'll, I'll leave conversations about that to another time. So thank you for thank your Thank you, question. everyone. Have a great afternoon.